more so about her saying, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, right? Your strength and your ministry will be able to help people but correct them in your helping them. Because you focus more so on the man telling people, give me, when all he had to do was stop begging for stuff right. and just start living for himself and doing what he was supposed to do. Your strength in ministry and a lot of things that you'll probably be more effective in doing is giving them solid word. Um, we like to say uh, uh, just straight with no chasing. Okay? That's what, that is your strength. You're going to be a great, you, you are, but you're going to be a greater helper along with letting them know. You ain't got to beg me for nothing. I got the word of God. That's all you need. And just follow me. That's your strength. Hallelujah. Your helper with no nonsense. Pastor Ronnie went straight into repenting. Pastor Ronnie, your strength is to get those people to repent and give their life to Jesus. Yes. You don't have so many, so many jewels in your crown. Because Amen. you, your main focus was repent. Repent. That's all you probably, you probably think about is that they just repent. That's your strength is getting these people to give their life to Christ and to repent. I saw that tonight. Uh, Pastor Nancy, she is more so about correction. Her, her, her scripture went straight into correction, knowing that you make a mistake, but God can still yes. use you. Yes. And so her strength is, I know you made a mistake, but come here, let me love you. But let come me on. tell you what you did wrong so you won't do it again. That's going to be your strength. To get those broken people that feel like they can't do it because they made such a bad mistake. That's your, I saw your spirit in your heart and making sure that they are not, they can, they know that they can get right. You did wrong, but you can still be used by God. Uh, for Tanya, Tanya, her message was live again. That's where you are. That's exactly where you are. Live again. This time. That's right. Live again. Your, strong, your strength will be able to let people know, hey, I've been where you've been. But this time, you can live again. That's going to be your true, and your ministry, your testimony, your strength is living again. Letting people know there is a second chance in Jesus Christ. Um, Monica, she dealt with the denial, right? Remember what she, she dealt with, um, denying, uh, Christ. But what God, what stood out to me, Tom, uh, Monica, is the sick one. You, your, your strength will be able to touch other leaders and let other leaders know that even though there was a denial in what you were supposed to do, you're still sent by God. And I see God using you to work alongside a lot of leaders and, and encouraging leaderships in those one-on-one -on -one private situations. And even when you're ministering out, you'll touch more so of a person in leadership to let them know that, yeah, you may have denied Christ or didn't do what you were supposed to do, but you are sent by God. That's, that's, watch you. I tell you, watch how all of y'all preach. And y'all gonna remember, I'm gonna save this. Watch. <laughs> and then just, what, I'm telling you. And then uh, Sylvia, I already knew it, but you had already explained it. Faith and healing. Because of what you're currently going through with your son. Faith and healing is going to be the structure and the power of your ministry. Is, is having faith for somebody's healing for their mind, their body, their spirit, their soul, everything. That's going to be the strength of your ministry. When God uses you, watch when she gets an opportunity to talk. Most of her stuff that she talks about is healing. Most of the things she's going to be talking about is deliverance. Yeah. Just watch. I want you guys to be um, conscious of when each other is preaching. Because God has instructed a certain style of preaching. Mm -hmm. My sister, Kimberly McWilliams, her ministry, if you hear every preaching that she ever does, is always talking about, she always said, they may have lied on you, they may have talked about you, but God got a purpose in your life. Her ministry is built on encouraging people to move forward. Yes. Mm -hmm. When we go to when we go to the retreat, if she starts preaching or says a word, she always says something about moving forward. And no matter what they say, God got you. And the structure it is it, to me as a prophet, I hear a person's style. And so, and I'm just being honest, sometimes, not with just her, but anybody, sometimes I already know what you're going to say before you say it.
because I understand styles and structures. Can anybody tell you, tell me what my style of preaching? When you hear me preach, what is my style of preaching? Loud! Loud, <laughs> whatever. Um, correct. You and you're an uplifter. You and you encourage. Mm -hmm. And you, yes, I see that in you that you uplift people. Bluntness. Also, yeah. you don't have one, you don't want to do the Yeah, bluntness. Straight. Direct. I'm very direct, and I'm an uplifter. I am a healing and deliverance prophet. I'm also a healing and deliverance preacher. I'll always try to heal you in some shape or form and how you do it. That's just how God uses me. I always try to get you to think outside the box, and I will also tell you the truth. I don't care what you say or what you think about me. I don't care because you have to be healed. You have to be delivered. You have to be set free. What's Pastor Rudy's style of preaching? Loud. <laughs> Loud. Yeah. yeah. Does anybody know his bold. style? He's bold. He's bold. He's bold. But bold. Um, he's passionate. passionate. Yeah. He has yeah. a lot of passion. Yes. His preaching is about getting you to have passion for the things of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he talks loud. We both are loud. We're just loud people. But his thing is he wants you to get, don't you see what God is saying in this Bible? Don't you see? Hallelujah. He gets excited about the word of God. Yeah. He wants you to understand it because he knows it's important for you. So everybody has their own style. Don't try to create a style. Just whenever you read your scriptures and you get that nugget and see how God uses you, just go with God. Go with God. You're going to be doing a whole lot of preaching and a whole lot of ministering to people. And God is going to, we're, we're teaching you, but you eat the meat and spit out the bones. Everything we say, don't take it as, oh, I got to do it because, mm -mm. We don't serve no bone here. Mm -mm. 